Welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you how to make like a starry background with a planet and maybe some uh, lighting effects. <clears throat> okay, so first you're going to make a new image. This has to be 700 by 700 and click OK. It just has to be square. So uh, now what you're going to do is filters, render, uh, sphere designer. And under texture, you're gonna go um, under texture. You're gonna go marble. Um, texture. You're gonna go. Um, let me see if I can find it. Um, let's see. Alright, noise. Under noise, and then uh, under bump, you're gonna go red, or uh, actually, um, texture. You're gonna go red, and um, sort of greenish, a lightish greenish. And, um, oh. Let, let's see, what can I know? let's try and do our planet earth and then a uh, dark green all right so uh, that's pretty good and um now let's click okay and it's a rendering sphere and sometimes this will take a while <clears throat> okay rendering it all right there it is um now let's uh, select the white color and um, add alpha channel to this and then click edit cut select none and now make a new layer below everything else and fill it in with black and then um, we're going to have to scale down this planet so using the scale tool click on it uh, and you have to check this chain so that it keeps the circular shape and click scale and scaling it down click scale and well I'm gonna move this to the upper hand corner maybe out right there alright and on the black layer you're gonna go filters noise HSV noise and you're gonna turn the wholeness up and the saturation up and then the value up <coughs> Turn the hue down a lot to zero. So I'm using four, zero, one, thirteen, and sixty-six, and it creates a nice starry texture. And uh, click OK. All right. So now it looks like stars, and the planet looks too light. So we'll adjust the planet and go f uh, colors, brightness, and contrast, and turn the brightness down. And click OK. Alpha to selection the planet. Create a new layer blow it and fill that in with white if you don't know we're creating that atmosphere and uh, select none then go filters blur Gaussian blur and blur this by about 20 and click OK and we're gonna move the um, uh, uh, atmosphere over so move active layer and move it to over about here and then we can blur it again for good measure filters uh, repeat Gaussian blur and it's blurring and that's a pretty good uh, effect and you can move it over here so that you can see a tiny bit of atmosphere over here but it's mostly focused over here actually let's make it the opposite that's good that's a good effect <coughs> and uh, let's change Turn the opacity down a bit. Just so that it isn't so bold. And move it a bit. Alright, so that's a good effect so far. Now what we need to do is add a planet. Or add a sun effect. So filters, light and shadow, gradient flare. 
and we're gonna use distance sun and move the distance sun to about right here and settings and change the rate move it you have to make it pretty big rotate it a little bit hue rotation ah uh, no Yet to I did not mean to do that. It has to be very golden. Uh, that's too much. That's good. Alright, um, now uh, change the vector length. Put that down. Uh, that's the angle, sorry. About right there. 409, 49, 9.2, 24.8, and 253.4 and that's pretty good and uh, click OK alright um, that's a little bit too big so let's undo that and make a new layer above everything I mean below everything except for the background and we're gonna go filters uh, repeat gradient flare and it's doing its stuff. And there you go. And we have to scale this down. So, uh, scale it down. Uh, that's up. Scale it down. Click scale. And remember, the chains have to be checked. And move this down here. Uh, and, um, uh, I don't know why that's cut off right there. I guess we can move it over here. And um now uh let's see, let's add a lighting effect so that it looks like it's actually reflecting off of here. So let's go filters, light and shadow, lighting effects. And for some reason that isn't moving down. So um we can just move the distance about to right there. And, um, I say that's pretty good. 400 and up here. And then click OK. Alright, so uh, that's pretty good. Except let's undo that and make it on a new layer. But what you have to do is fill it in with black. Just fill that in with black and repeat the lighting effect. And um, you can see that the stars went away, but we're going to fix that soon. So it has a lighting effect, but let's put the mode on screen. That gets the stars back. Took away the stars. It's pretty epic. So we're going to move the uh, lighting shadow to right there. And um, we can erase right here where the light and shadow got cut off. So uh, turn the scale up. And undo that. Sorry, that was supposed to be on the light and effect layer. Alright. <coughs> so uh, that's a pretty good effect let's move it down even a bit more alright so that is how you create uh, your own space effect and I keep on doing that uh, on the lighting effect layer it just has a little bit of cut off right here and use the fuzzy brush Okay, and there is your planet. So, um, thank you for watching this tutorial.